Yo, what's going on guys? This is Easy Tech 231 here back again with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys once again how to make your Android phone look like iOS. Alright, so I've been getting tons and tons of messages and comments asking me to remake my iOS on Android video, uh, which actually happens to be my most viewed video as of now. Uh, so I'm doing this video for you guys because I would never, ever do this. Um, yeah, I would never do this for myself. So uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The launcher that I'm using is iLauncher, and uh, this was actually taken off the Google Play Store for a little while, but now it's back, and it'll run you about $2.50. And uh, you do get some pretty good function out of this one, you know, comparing it to iOS. Uh, you actually do not have the feature where you can slide down and get that search feature. You do not have that one here, but I do believe there are, might be one or two other launchers um, on the Google Play Store that uh, actually use that feature. Um, but from here, you can actually uh, long press on an application to get the wiggle animation. From there, you can get the X, and you can um, uninstall applications that you've installed. Okay, those ones came on the phone, so I can't uninstall those. Um, but you can uninstall applications from here. You can also tap on an application when it's in the wiggle animation. And you can uh, change the icon, change the title, set this app as a specific iOS function, and it will change the icon for you as well. You can unset the icon if you had changed it before. And you can also hide the application. You can also drag applications on top of each other to... Um, make a folder and you can also rename the folder and you've also got the pages in the folder as well uh, so that is pretty neat alright so the lock screen that we're working with here is retina premium lock screen 8 uh, which actually it used to it used to be called iOS 7 lock screen parallax HD but it was just recently updated to that name and it is a little bit smoother now uh, there used to be a good amount of lag from the slide to unlock to the passcode um, area over there um, but you also get your control panel here in the lock screen, which is pretty nice. You get your status bar up there, get your time and your date. You also got your uh, camera shortcut there. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and un unlock the phone. Now, I had the same passcode in the last video <laughs> like this, and a lot of people said, wow, you have the easiest lock code ever. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so that's, um, that's the lock screen there. Nothing too crazy about that. It works. Now, a lot of people also said <laughs> that... Um, you know you can press on the home button and get straight to the home screen and that that bug is still there however you can it, it will actually throw you back into the into the lock screen so you have to put that in there uh, so I found that very interesting hopefully they'll fix that um, but it is what it is alright now for the control center we're using an application called iControl and uh, this is also a free application on the Google Play Store and I have it set to uh, actually activate it by sliding up just like on an actual iPhone. So I put from the bottom and we have our control center here. Now it doesn't look exactly like iOS, but out of the ones that I've tried, it usually has the best function out of all of them. Uh, some of them tend to be a bit buggy. This one works, it works okay. And uh, so we've got our toggles here. We've got our brightness, um, volume, music controls, as well as some other shortcuts here. And it works pretty good. The, the, the actual application has settings for coloring, um, activation settings and whatnot so it's pretty good um, I would actually never use this because Android already has that built in um, but you know that's that you know if you want it to look like iOS go ahead and try eye control you might have noticed the status bar is a little different it looks like an iOS device and that is because I'm using iNoti um, iNoti is an application where you can change the status bar of your phone and you can also get the uh, yeah there you go <laughs> get the notification center here you got all and today gives you your date and gives you all your events on your calendar I've got none for today so that's that and it will actually give you your notifications which is pretty cool and it works pretty good it's nice and smooth and you know blurs the background and everything it looks just like iOS so that is that and now we're going to go into our dialer we are using SB or dialer i7 uh, this one will actually change your call screen as well uh, for when somebody's calling you and when you're on the phone to somebody it'll actually change the the look of your screen um, and you got your regular dialer here and you just <laughs> you know dial you got your favorites you got your recents you got your contacts keypad which is what we're on now and you got more so that's where the settings are going to be found um, and yeah I mean that's pretty much it now <laughs> that's the dialer All right now for the keyboard we are using uh, go keyboard with an, I an iOS 5 theme 
and uh, yeah, this one works. Eh, it works okay. It's again, it's Go keyboard, so it's not an actual iOS keyboard. It's just got an iOS skin on top of it. This one's more of an iOS 8 look and feel, um, but it works okay. And since it is Go keyboard, you do get the swiping function and everything. Uh, so that's that. But if you want something that's a little more light, something that's more like the iOS 7 keyboard, go ahead and try the iPhone 5S keyboard iOS 7, and you'll get this keyboard, which actually looks pretty cool. It works okay, and uh, yeah, it's got the little key pop-up thing there. You got your uh, your numbers and everything else there. And uh, if you'd like, you can also try my personal favorite keyboard, which is Flexi keyboard, uh, which will be coming to iOS 8 because you know Apple is allowing third-party keyboards on iOS 8. So Flexi will be available for that. So go ahead and try that one out as well. So now for a music player, we are using an application called Easy Music. This application cannot be found on the Google Play Store. I found it on the iLaunch website, um, and I will put the link in the description for you guys uh, so you can get this application. Uh, now you've got your iOS look here. <laughs> uh, you know, not much else to really say about it. It does work. It's not as smooth as an iOS as an iOS device. Um, as you can see, you got the rest of the songs that are that will be in the album, and back here you got the album here. You got your playlist, artists, songs, albums, and genres on the bottom here. It works okay. It's not really that great. I would never use it as a primary uh, music application. But if you, again, if you want your phone to look like iOS, go ahead and check out Easy Music. All right, now for the gallery, we're using something called Cool Cool Gallery, if that's how you say it. And uh, this one doesn't really look like iOS. Uh, now it's almost there. It's the closest I could really get. And uh, this is what it looks like here. You got your zoomed out um, view here. You can actually pinch to zoom and get a, a closer view but you've got local photos and it'll just throw all of your um, all of your pictures onto a, a, a large grid you won't really get a, a, um, an organized album view unless you signed in and get your cloud albums there you also got your time photos there uh, so when you go ahead and tap on a picture it'll bring you there and you can you know go through your pictures just like you can in a regular regular gallery excuse me and uh, from here you can swipe up to delete it you can pinch into zoom and you also got like a film strip view there you go you got a film strip view there uh, so this is cool cool gallery um, it's okay it's not that bad <laughs> um, you can also uh, do a slideshow which is nice where you can rotate it left or right set this picture as and you also got your details here so it works so so it's not the best uh, but again this is the closest I could get to an iOS look and feel all right for SMS we're using go SMS Pro with the go SMS minimal iOS 7 theme and uh, yeah, I'm texting myself here, texting myself yesterday when I first tried this out just to see what it would look like um, on camera so I wouldn't really show any of the uh, phone numbers that are in here. But you can go ahead and type to compose a message and it will send and it looks a lot like iOS. Um, and you can also delete that message before it sends, which is pretty handy. That's a Go SMS feature. And yeah, it actually messaged me telling me that, wow, okay. Anyway, so that is GoSMS, and it does look like iOS 7, uh, so go ahead and check this one out if you're interested in making your SMS look like iOS. Alright, so now we have the browser here, it's called, actually just called Browser. In order to get this browser, you'll just go to the Google Play Store, and you'll search for Key for iOS 7 Browser, and there you'll find a Dropbox link to download the actual APK itself, because the key on the Google Play Store is actually just to unlock the full version. Alright, so let's go ahead and check it out here. This is a very, 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 very basic browser. Nothing to it, you know, it's just do what you wanna do, view some web pages, that's that's really all it does. Um, I'm not sure about Flash support, didn't bother to check because, you know, you gotta sideload it to get Flash anyway, so. Uh, so, you know, viewing web pages, pages is simple, it's pretty smooth, you got your refresh button, got your menu button here to show your history, add this page to your bookmarks, add it to your home screen as a link, and uh, switch between mobile and desktop versions of the site and exit the browser which is what I'm about to do in any second um, settings and you also got your forward and back buttons here you got your share button bookmarks button I believe and your tabs button here and switch in between tabs there so it does what it needs to do browse web pages and that's pretty much it and on top of that it does look like iOS At last and certainly least we have calculator it's it's a calculator what else are you gonna say it it's a calculator with ads fantastic it's just a calculator 
All right, so that pretty much wraps it up for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you, you were able to make your Android device look and feel a little bit more like iOS. Uh, maybe you wanted to fool your friends, or maybe you just really didn't like Android that much and you really wanted iOS. I question why you didn't get an iPhone. But anyway, if you just wanted to have this just for fun, uh, you know, just to fool your friends, then that is cool. Um, so hopefully this video was um, helpful to you guys out there. Uh, so again, thank you guys for watching. And uh, so hit that subscribe button. It really helps out. You guys are awesome. Leave a like and a favorite and share with your friends. Um, so yeah, that does it for this video, guys. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter, EasyTech231. I'm also on Google+. And uh, yeah, take it easy, guys. Peace.